gon' do for? Hey, girl, she on the money, first she saw a unicorn. That's your favorite part, what you gon' do for? Hey, girl, she on the money, first she saw a unicorn. That's your favorite part, what you gon' do for? Hey, girl, she on the money, first she saw a unicorn. That's your favorite part, what you gon' do for? Hey, girl, she on the money, first she saw a unicorn. Don't the money, 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 don't the money. Don't the money, don't the money, don't the money, don't the money. Hey, girl, she on the money, first she saw a unicorn. Don't the money, 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 don't
I think that's a that's actually pretty cool. It makes the car seem a lot more tunerish than it really does with the stock wheels that comes with the modded car. However, some other issues with Los Santos Customs, however, is you have to really be careful with what you do. Changing one body kit or you know any any kind of body item with this car will cause the game to just freak the hell out. It, it'll you'll brace you'll basically break the game for a good couple of minutes or so, and you'll have to kind of play around to fix it, or you'll just have to restart the game. But I tried changing the. Uh, windshield I tried making it darker and it seems to just make the windshield just completely black and you just can't see out of it when you're actually playing the game in first person so stay away from that you can change the color of the wheels another thing is is that changing the body any any body like a spoiler or a front bumper or anything and even changing some of the performance options makes the game go insane as you can see right there, Franklin just kind of freaked out. The car is disappearing from trying to add a new bumper, and upgrading the engine does this. And obviously after I was done tuning the car, I went outside of the garage and the world was pretty much just untextured, it was ugly, and the, the only way, the way I fixed it was by getting out of the car and spawning in a new car, and then the game just kind of fixed itself. What was really a nice addition to this though was that some of the mods for the car at Los Santos Custom does work. For instance, right now you're looking at new tires and I actually did add a neon kit to it and that you, you guys probably can tell from the intro of the video. And some other things like you can actually make the car lowered with suspension and adding the upgrades do actually affect the car. Obviously if you change the handling line of the car, I'm not really sure if you know that'll affect the upgrades or not but I did not add a custom handling line for one I couldn't even read the the handling line that the guy added in the in his little picture information or whatever because it was in Chinese or some some Asian language but other than that the car works perfectly fine with the stock original handling it's the regular handling for the Banshee but other than that guys let's get going into figuring out how you guys can install this mod Alright guys, so getting started with the download of this mod, just simply go to the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page, and you can simply just click on download for the mod. After that, if the mod doesn't open up or whatever, go ahead and find the mod in your downloads folder or where, wherever you have your downloads saved, and you are going to need 7-zip or Win WinRAR or some kind of archive opening you know, program to get it, and just simply take these files, drag them to the desktop or wherever you want to you know drag them to I already have them right here so you don't you don't really need it it is in like some I don't know if this is Chinese or Korean or Japanese if you do open it though it's basically a picture and it'll tell you how to do it from here if you want a video tutorial then keep watching so basically you do need open 4 in order to get this mod going Cortana is being stupid so you do need open 4 in order to get this mod going so simply just click on update go to time 64 DLC pack and you'll see patch day 1 NG double click that you'll see DLC click that you'll see time 64 click that go click on levels click on GTA 5 and then now click on vehicles and then you'll see that there are three files right here now the way that you change these files, and I, I recommend doing it one by one, it's the easiest way to really do it. If you want, you can simply just highlight them all and, you know, install it like that. But I did it one by one and it seemed to work perfectly fine like that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're, you're going to want to click on edit mode and it will give you this, you know, little notification here. Everything up here will change. So what you're going to want to do is click on one of the files and I, like I said I recommend doing this one by one and click on add new file and for whichever one you just click see this is banshee.yft it's right here just simply you know go ahead and click I'm not going to do it because I already have the mod installed but do it one by one for you know all these files right here or you can do multiple import if that's if, the, if that's what you want to do and then simply just go to file and click on rebuild and just just click on rebuild let it finish rebuilding I don't know why I did that I mean it's already there and done but 
and you can go ahead and open that if you want. And there you go, the mod should be in your in your game. Alright, so I hope you guys found the tutorial really easy to follow. I did my best. And hopefully the mod worked perfectly fine for you guys. If not, just retry. Uh, you'll get it eventually, you know. First time, usually most people don't get it, but you'll get it eventually, guys. So, and like I said, I don't have a handling mod for the car. For now, I'm just sticking with the Banshee handling mod. And if you don't like that, then I recommend finding someone else's handling mod, like a drifting handling mod or something. But other than that, yeah, the mod works perfectly fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys found the tutorial easy to follow. Let me know what you guys think of the mod in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be uploading more mods for GTA 5 in the future. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you.